Yo, what is up guys? It is me, the Cuban Bear. Welcome back to another video. Today we have an exciting unboxing from speedcubeshop.com. This is, let's just get right into it because there's a lot in here. Let's go. All right then, so you guys have seen this cube. Uh, this is the Thunderclap version 3M. Now, um, Chi has come out with a lot of cubes recently and I wanted to get a cube for my little sister. So this is the cube that we're gonna use. And here it is right here. A lot of packaging, so to speak. Nice saran wrap we gotta go through. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, it's a little bit greasy on the outside, I must say. Um, but, Let's get into first turns. It is a budget cube. I can definitely feel that and you definitely know that it is because of the turning quality. The plastic is nice, nice and glossy, that's fine. The shades I have no problem with, they're fine shades. It's the turning that's a little bit off. It's really fast and there's some catching and that's just because I don't think this can, yeah, this can't cut 45 or anything under it. So that's the only downside to the Thunderclap version three, but it's, this is a $10 magnetic budget cube, which I think puts it really high up in the budget standard. You really don't get anything better than this besides the Kylan version two. And I think that's pretty, um, symbolic nature of like what we're dealing with here when it comes to cubes like this but i don't think it's a bad cube at all but i don't think it's a bad cube at all i think it's actually pretty good for what you get and i'm pretty sure and i'm very sure my sister's gonna love this cube so i love this cube for my sister and hopefully she'll like it too into the next unboxing we got we got the shang shao Kilominx, and this is the 4x4 version so you guys already know i've unboxed the um the uh, what's it called so you guys already know, oh look, stickers, the same stickers I got when I got the Terraminx. I didn't get Terraminx stickers. Elite Kilominx, I think it's what it's called. The 4x4 Kilominx, I don't know these names that well. I just know that this is the cube that we're getting. And I think it's gonna look absolutely great. And look at that. So here's the cube right here. It looks really, really nice. Um, it's uh, The shades are the same standard shades. Let's go ahead and give it a couple of first turns. Very, very smooth and very nice puzzle, I must say. I really like this turning quality right here. Yeah, it's very smooth, very nice. And it's just like any other standard Shang Shao puzzle. I actually like the grip on this a little bit more than all the other cubes. I think it's just because the pieces are bigger. So that's probably what it has to do with it. Inner slices move just as fluid as the outer, so I would say this is a very, very good turning, very good turning dodecahedron. I cannot wait to do a tutorial on this, ASMR, you guys already know everything that's gonna happen with this puzzle. And uh, yeah, those videos will be coming out soon, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, I have now added another Minx. I have added another, I have finally added another Minx puzzle to the collection, and now I can continue on to getting the Elite, the six by six version of this one, and then I'll have to save up quite a bit of money to get the uh, Shang Shell Elite Elite, Master, Giga, the the 8x8 Petaminx and the 9x9 Petaminx. Those are going to be really exciting unboxings and I know for a fact I'm going to do an entire relay from 2x2 all the way to Petaminx of just the Dodecahedron collection and that'll be a really exciting video when it comes out. But for now we're just stuck with this one. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to the final thing. The most exciting part is the most exciting part. This is the 12 by 12, the Maylong 12 by 12. And let me just say, I have been wanting this cube since it came out from day one. The first mass produced cubic 12 by 12. And oh my God, does that look incredible. Look at that beast. Oh 
Wow, look at these pieces. They're absolutely tiny. And they have one thing that I can see that's different from the original uh, Mei Long series is that this one has um, this one has rounded corners, whereas the 10x10 only had a little bit of a sharp corners. But the 11x11 had the same design right here. It's just that it's a lot, the pieces are so much smaller. It's absolutely insane that there's a 12 by 12 this big. And yeah, you know, back in the old days when uh, there was legends of 12 by 12s being made by customized people and they all turned out to be flukes. And for a while I've been wanting to see if a 12 by 12 could even be made because it just seemed like we were skipping over it. We went all the way to 10 by 10. We skipped 12 by 12, we went to 11 by 11, then 13, then 15. I never went to either 12 or 14 or 16. We have a 17 by 17, but there isn't a 12, 14 or 16 now. So I'm really happy to see that there's a 12 and I cannot wait to see bigger, even layer puzzles being made. I'm assuming that the design must be pretty difficult considering how long it's taken for a 12 by 12 to be made at this point. But without any of that, Moyu definitely has made, Moyu definitely has made major strides since the entire time it's been here. And I'm super excited about this. But I'm just, I just want to get to turning this puzzle, so let's go ahead and do first turns. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is incredible. You can definitely hear the crunchiness between all the pieces, but I think that can go away with some loot, but man oh man. This is a great puzzle, oh my goodness. And is there some corner cutting? There is some corner cutting, oh my god. Super, super excited to go ahead and uh, magnetize this. That's right, we're gonna magnetize this puzzle. I uh, cannot wait to show you a tutorial how to solve it and ASMR about it. So that is gonna be super exciting for me to go ahead and the review will be coming out soon for this puzzle. I absolutely cannot wait. And while we're here, why don't we go ahead and scramble it up for the video. What do you guys say? Let's do it. Look at that. It looks absolutely great, whether it's solved or mixed up. I like the color so much on this cube. The Mofeng Jiaoshi color scheme may seem a little bit pastel to some people, but I think it looks really, really great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing for these different things. I know during the time of this um, outbreak, it's unwise to buy things, but I had these things in my room for a couple of for a couple of days, and I just decided to go ahead and post it as like an entertainment video, something for you guys to enjoy to watch. Um, stay safe out there, stay sanitized in these dire times. Um, uh, leave me some ideas for any skits you want to see down below because I'll definitely I definitely want to try out doing some skits and I think they'll be pretty fun to do for a lot of you guys and I think you'll all enjoy it but without further ado it is time to end off this video so if you guys like this video be sure to give it a like and make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications and let me know what you guys want to see with these cubes in the comments below until then I'll see you on the next video it's a Cuban Brown peace out guys